Welcome. This is Crime Queen. If you are joining us for the first time, this is the channel where we get excited about love. This is where we ignite that which dwells from within us, that which comes alive, makes us smile, makes us laugh. Hence, we say the crimson light is live. Okay, so I thought I would do a, um, a video on Kundalini because um, I have been... Um, it wasn't really one of my intentions, but of course, because I have been um, getting information or various um, experiences, um, I just thought and I feel that m the information that I have or through my experience, that that would be helpful. I hope it would be. Okay, now because we are working on numerology as well, I felt I'm going to um, incorporate uh, my experience with um, with um, numerology. Why not? Of course, because it also requires a form of sacrifice. And that's the emphasis that I want to really um, show here. When we talk we speak of sacrifice and of course because the word sacrifice has come predominantly from Jesus Christ um, um, Jesus Christ's um, crucifixion my um, notion here is to really see how we can use those learnings and experiences to help us become better expressions of ourselves by learning the messages that they grant, the messages that um, we are presented with through Christ's sacrifice. Hey, I am believing, as I said, that I believe that this is, I am believing, as I said, that I believe, because Christ spoke so much about believe, and the, this is one of the words that has been so impregnated in my DNA, so I'm using that now, <laughs> you know, like I'm really giving birth to lots of belief, 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 but I now, I should I ought to say, I know that the spirit of Christ is really, in my experience, the um, opening or activation of the pineal gland. Having your kundalini activated is, or I think is the motion or the activation that is called the kundalini itself, or, but basically is to be illuminated. Now, here I believe that when Eve ate of the fruit, that that was, and, and their eyes were open and they became like gods. That is what I believe, I am believing has happened with myself, that now I am able to see things from different, not just different perspective, but I am able to um, feel that I am in a position where I can see things as a whole instead of seeing things as good, one side, bad as the other. Of course, those terminologies or essence do have their place. They help us to put things in perspective in the sense of communication or I think that means that I was really saying what I'm saying is really Okay, with this thing falling down, but in communication that we are able to address each other, it's some kind of, um, it's the language we have been taught. So here we have, this is a, a figuration of Eve having it of the fruit that gave that illumination. If you can see the dots here on the face, that is where... God had said to Abel, to Moses, I am that I am. That is the name that we believe that God, or we learn from the Bible, that God had given as his name, I am that I am. Now, here we have Eve, Mother Eve, in numerology equals five, which is the same I am that I am. They all equals the same. One of my questions is, could it be Mother Eve on the mountain of on Sinai um, said to Moses, I am that I am? Or could it be 
that they are one and the same, Eve and God. Okay. Or could it be that God was saying, giving Moses the message and say, well, in reference to Eve, that I am that I am. Okay. These were questions that I would be asking myself because I have encountered that I am that I am equals that 5 or 14, just like in the name Eve. So I'm saying that they are one and the same in essence. It's like two people got married and they sign, they both sign the same name. So back to the Kundalini, um, this is where I am making that reference here with Christ as well, with the word Christ, which also equals five, according to the word sacrifice. We learn from the scriptures when we in Christ, we are a new creature. The word N-E-W is here. This is the six that we are, the number of man. Of course, we are in blocks because the cycles, we go for cycles on top of cycles. As I say, this is where we do our jazz, our bucket. We take the bucket. This is a term we use when someone just take the biscuit or bucket. And there's the luck, whether we're feeling lucky or not. There's the development, how we are developing. Are we going through, are we thinking through our head? Are we giving more emphasis to our lower chakra? Are we being creative with our hands? Where are we doing or where are we going? There, so there we are in the new. So basically, we are wanting to be centered. We are wanting to be um, grounded. And this is the position for it. But that we can imagine that you are elevated here because that would be like a pyramid, you could say. The eye is always on top. Of course, there's another eye here too. I'm not disregarding that, but let's look at the numbers which really go from one to nine. So let's put this back. So the numbers are from one to nine. So we have one, two, three, four. This is representing four. And these are four numbers here. And of course, this would be one, two, three, four numbers here. And of course, the five is in the middle. Okay. Like I am a fifth child. Okay. So here we have uh, this I here. And we are saying that this is the position when if, because if equals five, Christ equals five. When if and the I am that I am, at of the fruit, that would be the position that she and her husband was in and the I was open. And the et, the word et equals eight. Now we hear about a lie that was said in the scripture, but the lie is the position of the eight, the infinite line, infinite eight. Okay, so there of course, we see that the math was what was used to eat of the fruit. The math is what is powerful, we are told. It is the sword. It is the double-edged sword. In fact, we would see that double um, sides of the mouth here. We see that M, which I spoke about with um, representing Abraham, the M. We have those M's all over. We have the M on our eyebrows. We could see an M on our nose. We could see an M on our upper lip. We could see um, M's, of course, on our bodies. So there we are. Okay. And so here I am talking about not those eyes that were open, but the third eye was open. Because if it was just these eyes, I don't think God would be saying, now the man has become like us, meaning God. Okay. Hence it is said, we are gods. Okay. Um, of course, this is another um, revelation and water. We usually use this as, as um, part of our um, template, like just calling those words to give us some form of transparency on what we are doing. So um, this is a, my um, subject to, or my um, explanation of when we have a Kundalini, that is the position that it takes us to. Now, I will also show you through 
the word Kundalini. I hope I have this um, written um, cor correctly. Let's just, um, okay. C U N Kundi. I think it's L I N I. Okay, Kundalini. And I had it, so okay, bear with me. Okay, right, so it's spelled correctly. Just because if it's not spelled correctly, then I don't have the correct numerical value. Okay, so this is 9593145532. Okay, now I always say that I like where 9 and 5 comes together because 9 and 5 is really beginning and end because it tells us about the word in, for instance, the word in, which is nine and five here, and beginning is nine, five is end. This is where, again, we talk about Mother Eve. So it's like saying, for instance, we need to get back all this journey that we have done. We need to get back to the feminine, Mother Eve. We need to, it's like, a, a daughter who has um, particularly daughters, we grow and we think, oh, we know better than mother and we, we argue about things and then we grow older and we realize how important it is to form that loving relationship with the mother at the end, which is where Eve is. Okay, so the word in as well is the, um, it's telling us how important it is for, for us to open our eye. The in is like that tube that the mother who has the everlasting tube that we, that she, she um, nurtures us with. Now, I'm just thinking it's no, it, with the end going this way, like when you are a child and you were holding on to your mother's hand, you know, there's, it just reminds me of a, like a skirt or a dress. Okay. Um, whether that has much significance, but it does um, kind of um, tells me that as a child, we are forever looking up to our mothers. We, there's a need for us to look up and to rev have reverence okay so nine let's just do this this would be three nines 27 oh four nines 36 i like to add like this 36 and 3 39 this would be 41 41 4 plus 1 equals 5 now that kundalini right here is a direct reflection of Eve, E-V-E. -E. Let's look at that, which is five, four, five. When we add these together, we get 14. Now, 14 is the only word that I have, or only number, that when I do the numerical value, I think so far, it gives me the direct reflection of itself. So let's just do that so you can see, see what I mean. So before I go on, I am saying that the number 5 for, for um, 14, the Kundalini, comes in the middle here, exactly where it is that Christ, Eve, is and the I am that I am. Okay, so just to reflect on when we do 14, F O U R T E E N. So this is 5, 5, 5, 2, 9, 3, 6, 6. Okay, 3, 5, 15, 16, 17. That would be 26, 29, 35, 41, right, 41. So basically what I'm saying is 
the Kundalini is showing 41, which coincides with um, the reflection of Eve, the reflection of, um, of the I am that I am. I am that. I am. We can do this. This is nine. This is five. I, uh, I can go through this again, but let's just do it. Okay. Four. And this is two, eight, one, two, nine, one, four. So we can add this up. So this is 10, 14, 16, uh, 26, 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, and that would be 41. 41. We see how that works as well. So this coincides, the number 14 is also the I am that I am. Now that reminds me of the story that we have been told about um, set or uh, the God set or the, one of those who had their... Um, who was cut in 14 pieces and um, in um, ancient history. So um, we we also learn that Christ came from a lineage of 14, the generation of 14. So we can see how 14 is very symbolic or very reflective in the Kundalini. Now I'm going to um, perhaps do this um, experience in, or presentation in two parts because it's I feel it is perhaps a better way to do it instead of having it um, too long. Um, but my experience of having a Kundalini is um, that I feel it's one that I would um, encourage or someone to be conscious or careful and in its application and be prepared. But I believe that it is something that is very important for us to do. That is, if we want to become better expressions and versions of who we truly are, if we want to see ourselves in a better light, so to speak, and there is something within us that etches for us to become that which we are meant to be, that which we are. And really, we can't sort of keep the lid down anymore. So join me on part two of my experience of my kundalini thank you which is number five thank you